<laughs> oh, that looks painful. Hello, Crouch Gaming here. I thought I'd pop an update video with some plans I've got and what's next for me. As a regular watcher of my videos, you'll probably already know that I make all of these videos on the PlayStation 4 using the Share Factory app and the Share button. Any commentary I do, I record on a laptop and then import to the PlayStation as a song on a flash drive. I am a complete rank amateur at YouTube, but even I have now started to feel the limitations of what I'm doing. I have enjoyed it, and I'm also pretty proud of what I've managed to produce, but I want to take it up a gear. I feel like I can do so much better. For example, I cannot record games with friends and get the chat to record on the PlayStation 4. It either records the inbound from my mic or the outbound from what they're saying and never both it doesn't put them together quite frankly some of the things that get said and happen during my times online with friends are epic they would make such amazing natural unscripted videos but all of those opportunities are lost with my current setup I also desperately want to do videos of other things which one of which I want to do, and I really want to do this, is I want to make a video of the best games of all time for me. Just entirely my opinions, not drawn from sales figures or what other people think. Just my opinion of what I think are the best games of all time. And just put it out there and see what other people think and other people have to say. Start discussions. These things are just impossible with me only being able to gather clips on a PlayStation 4. I'm aware of some of the things that I've mentioned can actually be done with external capture devices, but then you'd still need a decent PC to pull it all together and get it all rendered up anyway, which is not something I have at the moment. So I decided over a week ago to get myself back into PC gaming and get myself a new rig. I've ordered everything I need and I'm just waiting for it all to arrive so that I can get started. I'm not going to go into the specifications of the PC as it will just be like turbo nerd troll bait. But this machine will be a beast and I've future proofed it for a decent length of time. It's all... It's not also all about just making videos. I was a PC gamer before PlayStation 4 and I have a massive massive back catalogue of games all locked into Steam that I really want to revisit. Things like DayZ and Armour, Battlefield 3, CSGO, fucking even Age of Empires 2. There's also massive huge games that are coming out soon. The one that I'm watching really closely is Star Citizen. That game has my interest and I really want to see what that's like when it finally completes and when it's ready. And it's, it's such a massively scaled game that it's never going to be on a PlayStation or an Xbox. It's just too big, too much scale for a console to handle. And I don't want to keep missing things like that. I often also play games without any intention of recording them. I'm a gaming enthusiast, not a YouTube professional. So I want to take the ceiling off of the fun cap and open up all those options again. One of the big problems for me with a modern console is the lack of backward compatibility. Old games and Steam libraries are all just sat there at the moment, completely unplayable. Xbox One, to be fair, has worked some way towards backward compatibility, but I want to go back further than that. Hashtag Sony, pull your thumb out your bum. You're being beat. I also want to work with other people, possibly, and try things with other small YouTubers and my friends and see if we can start something new and fresh that's maybe not been done. I will still be playing and making things on a PlayStation 4 as well, as I do love my PS4. I've still also got a lot of friends on it that I'd miss playing with and talking to. Also, at the end of the day, some games actually are just better on a console. Even if you're going to say you can just plug a pad into a PC, some games are built for console and no matter how you port them over to a PC, they just don't work the same. It's going to take me a little while to get all this set up and quite frankly I have 
absolutely no fucking idea how to create a video on a PC yet. Also, I suspect most of the things I've ordered are not actually going to arrive until after Christmas because I did, as always, plan very well and pick the worst time of year to do this. That's all for now um, on this one and hopefully I'll be able to start testing and get a PC video out soon. Until then, I'm going to keep doing what I'm currently doing. Anybody got any comments or questions, then please leave them below. That's all for now. Have a good day.